A fan for Plum Blossom. One day, the little ponies were playing down by Blossom Bower when suddenly they heard someone crying bitterly. Oh dear! Whatever am I going to do? If I can't find my fan, I shall not be allowed to go to the feast of the lanterns," cried a sad little voice. Scales and spells! That sounds like one of the little dolls from the house of the lotus blossoms in the land of dolls," said Spike the little dragon. I have heard about the feast of the lanterns. There's a dragon that throws out firecrackers, and lots of people dress up in lovely costumes and. Pony feathers! That does sound fun," cried Masquerade and Pinwheel. "Yes, it is. But if you're a Chinese doll, you have to have a pretty fan to complete your costume," explained Little Plum Blossom, walking out of the bushes. "I've lost mine, and unless I can get another one before dusk, I shall not be able to take part in the procession." "Perhaps we can help you to find a fan," said Heart Throb. Or better still, perhaps we could help you to make one. Look, here is some lace to trim the fan, and Bowtie will give you some ribbons. What else do you need? I need some pretty parchment to make a picture, so that it will be like a story unfolding. Lotus Blossom told them. I will get our friend Silky the Spider to weave a silken parchment for you," said Applejack, "and Pippin the Fairy Painter will lend us his paints and brushes." Oh, little ponies, you are kind," cried Lotus Blossom. "But there is still one problem." "What is it?" asked Spike. "Tell us. I'm sure that we can help." "Well, you see," the little doll explained. "Although I can paint my fan, every fan has to be different, and now many of my friends have told their stories on their fans." "What are some of the pictures?" asked Pinwheel. Cherry Blossom has painted a bower of cherry trees with a little pagoda beneath them," said Plum Blossom. "Apple Blossom has painted golden apples on a bough, and a golden bird flying above. And Pear Blossom has painted a little boat under a blue sea with silver fishes in the water and an old Chinaman fishing by the bank. They are all so lovely, but I can't think what to paint." "I can," cried Spike confidently as he watched the doll fashion the fan from the silken paper, backed by feathers given to her by Flutterby. "Paint Dream Castle and the little ponies playing in the meadow, and me too, of course." All the little ponies laughed, but Plum Blossom clapped her hands in delight. "What a wonderful idea!" she laughed, and she set to work. As Spike watched, a lovely picture appeared on the fan. It was Dream Castle with Majesty and Spike on the turrets, and then pictures of the ponies appeared. Happy Hooves, look, that's me jumping over a flower fence! cried Lemon Drop, and Cotton Candy nibbling a flower. Fancy you knowing that! Next came Applejack nibbling an apple, and the baby ponies playing a game with hopscotch. Nearby, Posy was watering her tulips, while overhead, Medley drummed rain into her watering can from a cloud. There, it's finished," said Plum Blossom at last, "and I do believe that it is quite the prettiest fan I have ever seen. Much prettier than the one that I lost. Thank you, little ponies, for helping me. What can I do for you in return? Could we all come back with you to the land of dolls and see the feast of the lanterns?" suggested Spike. "I have never seen a fire-cracking dragon before." You shall all come as my honoured guests. Replied Plum Blossom, bowing low and smiling at them behind her outstretched fan, and I should be greatly honoured, dear Spike, if you would walk beside me in the procession as my own special honourable dragon. Crackling crackers, yes, please! Cried Spike. Imagine me, an honourable dragon, in the procession of the feast of the lanterns. Wait till I tell old Drago the sea dragon about this. He's never walked in a procession of lanterns. And all the little ponies had a lovely time watching the procession, which was headed by Spike and Plum Blossom, waving her beautiful little pony fan to her watching friends.